what's going on? Um, so a lot of you have, uh, some of you like my bucket hats and some of you have not liked my bucket hats, but I, whether you like it or not, they're coming back. I'm seeing younger people uh, wearing these. Um, this is a trend, at least in my area. Uh, so I've got these in the merchandise store. You'll see it um, somewhere around the video, but uh, a merch store on my channel. Um, we have our shirts and our hats and our bucket hats and our socks and I mean like coffee mugs and everything, phone cases, all that stuff. So basically this recipe we're doing today, I stumbled across it and said, what? Anytime I do that, I'm probably doing the recipe. All right. So yeah, I'm holding a rock. All right. Well, I should say I'm holding a stone. Okay. So this is a, a stone and uh, this is called stone soup. And it's not just any stone soup. This is Dolly Parton stone soup. This is something she grew up on. It's one of her family recipes. Uh, if I recall, she grew up poor. They had to do whatever, I, cooking stones out of the garden. I don't know. Maybe that's a poor thing. I don't know. I don't know if it retains heat. I don't know if it absorbs salt. I don't know if it adds flavor. Maybe minerals. I don't know why they cook with the stone, but I was intrigued. So I have to try this recipe out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that ingredient and everything else I've eaten before, but that ingredient, you know, so I'm going to try it all. We're going to taste it just like Dolly Parton tasted it as a kid. Uh, it's called Dolly Parton stone soup. Anyway, uh, we got chicken, chicken broth right here. We've got diced tomatoes right here. I've got my potatoes right there, garlic, onions, cabbage, turnips. This is something I'm not used to eating much of, turnips. Not sure how it's going to taste. Uh, in a soup, it's kind of like in a chili, it's going to blend in. So uh, I had trouble finding turnips. Didn't even know where to go, but I found them. I got carrots. And then this is, this is um, smoked pork chowls. Now the recipe asks for ham hock. Couldn't find ham hock. So I figured this is close enough. Got a lot of flavor. We're using smoked pork jowls. Just so you know, that's what I'm using in mine, but you can use a ham hock if you can find one. More power to you. And uh, anyway, I guess that's it. But I eat all this other stuff and I'll just have to try the turnips, see if I like them. Can't remember what they taste like, honestly. I haven't used them in a while. So let's get started. Let's make our soup. Oh, and he, I'm sorry. And the stone. Yeah. Okay, a lot of you probably want to know why I'm not using my pressure cooker because the recipe doesn't ask for a pressure cooker. It's using a stock pot and everybody's got a stock pot. So I'm just making it really simple, okay? So basically, put everything in here. Seriously. You got carrots. And by the way, if I don't have room in this pot, I'm going to have to go get a bigger one. Carrots. These are my turnips. There's my tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. There's my onions. cabbage in here oh Tammy's gonna kill me made a mess of the stove whoops sorry honey well okay we got that in there okay get our garlic in there there we go what else uh all right, guys, cut. I'm going to have to move this to a bigger pot. Okay, guys, so we are good to go. Uh, I got a bigger, I got, this is the rock stock pot. It's, the other one was the rock stock pot, but it was the smaller one. This is the bigger one. And <clears throat> we're going to, we have everything in there almost, but we're going to put our stone in right now. There's a stone in there. No idea why. But I thought it was a cool idea, so I did it. All right, we're gonna put our potatoes in now. 
Got all our potatoes cubed up. That's in there. We're going to take our chicken broth. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. We've got this pork gel we're going to put in there. Wow, that's a big pot of soup. And we're going to turn this up, get the flame going. I got it at medium high. Bring that to a boil, the liquid that's in there. Once you see it boiling on the side, then drop it down to a simmer. Okay, and then we'll tell you the next step. But right now we're going to bring it to a boil and then over medium high, reduce to a low simmer and leave it uncovered for about two hours, okay? Stir the soup occasionally. So I'll show you that part once we get to it. It's boiling, we're gonna stir it up a little bit, get it all mixed up, get this all going. Okay, we're gonna drop this down. I got it all the way on low and we're putting it down to a simmer. All right, now that the soup's getting fragrant, it tells you to season accordingly as you need. Hold on, sorry about that. Pepper didn't want to come out. So I'm going to salt and pepper it now. All right guys, so we're going to the next step right now. The next step is grabbing your ham hock or your jowls or whatever you're calling it, bringing it out here. And grabbing this one, bring that one out. There we go. And you're gonna cut the fat off, cut the skin off, and you're going to save the meat part, the meaty part right here. And then you're gonna chop it up, put it back in the pot, okay? I trim most of the meaty pieces out, and then you pour it back in. There you go. Go ahead and stir that up. I must say a lot of this has already kind of simmered away, I guess. Now it's just all the goodness left. The potatoes, the cabbage, the vegetables, the ham. Um, it's all looking good. It's all smelling good. So let's get this in a bowl and take a look at it and see how it tastes. I look at the final product. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right, let me give this a try. Never had this, never heard anybody who's had it. Just thought we'd try it out. So, let's uh, try and get some meat. Here we go. Piece of meat, a little bit of potatoes. Yeah, it's not working. All right, I'll just take what I got. That's pretty good. I thought it would taste like a rock, really. But no, the broth tastes good, the season tastes good. Wow, that's good soup. If I grew up on that, I'd be pleased. Yeah. Here I am eating in front of you again. Stop. Sorry. Anyway, so try it for yourself. Took about two hours, then you cut up the meat and put it back in. Uh, everything went well. It was super easy. Just the, the hardest thing was just chopping up stuff. That was it. But you guys should have no problem with that. All right. So I love you guys. Uh, there it is. That's Dolly Parton Stone Soup. And you got to give it a try. That tastes really good. Surprisingly good. So, um, and I'm not a soup fan, by the way, not at all, but this has a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Even the broth is very flavorful. So I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.